we have the perceptron algorithm outlined here. So it's simply step one, cal calculate the weighted sum of inputs. And step two, compare the weighted sum to a threshold value to determine the binary output. Now recall earlier that we discussed these weights, weight one and weight two, as being arbitrarily set. We'll see later that a perceptron, or more generally an artificial neural network, when it goes through its training process, it's actually learning the optimized values for these weights that result in the best and most accurate output. It's through the actual training process that a perceptron or a neural network in general can learn the values for these weights so that it's able to actually predict output that makes sense for the given input and predicts far better than just chance. So now we can take this simple idea of a single layer perceptron and build on top of it to understand artificial neural networks in general.